Formula E is an all-electric racing series. Teams of two cars and drivers race around city street circuits across the globe. Powered by fully electric powertrains, some of the world's biggest car manufacturers compete on a level playing field, guaranteeing close, unpredictable action and lots of overtakes. Attack mode enables all drivers to race at faster speeds for a period of time. Drivers must unlock attack mode by passing through the attack mode activation zone. Doing so costs them time initially, but they then gain additional power for a period. When drivers unlock attack mode, it's a strategic decision that can make the difference between winning and losing. As another way to increase power, Fan Boost allows you to vote for your favorite driver online. The drivers with the most votes can unlock an additional short power boost, enough to make a critical pass or defend against an on-rushing rival. Attack Mode is a higher power setting that each driver must use during every race. To unlock Attack Mode, a driver must drive through the Attack Activation Zone, initially losing time and maybe even positions. But they will receive additional power for a period of time, allowing them to attack again and overtake their rivals. The number of times it must be used and the duration it's available for varies from track to track. The teams and drivers only find out this key strategic information right before the race, leading to varied strategies that could impact the race race's outcome. Before and during a Formula E race, you as the fans can vote for your favorite driver. The drivers with the most fan votes receive Fan Boost, a short blast of additional power. The drivers themselves decide when to use. Fan Boost lasts just a few seconds, but it could be enough to make a critical overtake or keep an attacking rival at bay. Formula E races last for 45 minutes plus one lap. Once the 45 minutes are up, drivers must complete the lap the lead car is on, and then one more full lap. Whoever crosses the finish line after this wins. Teams must be sure to correctly calculate and manage their energy usage and battery power. Failure to anticipate the likely number of laps could mean running out of juice. Points are awarded to the 10 cars to cross the finish line first. First place is awarded 25 points, and 10th place receives just one point, with the spots in between receiving gradually reducing amounts of points. Of these top 10 finishers, the driver that sets the fastest lap time gets an extra point. Three additional points are also awarded to the driver that sets the fastest time in qualifying. The driver with the most points at the end of the season becomes the new driver's champion, and the team with the most points gets crowned as the team's champion. Each of Formula E's teams has two drivers. The number of teams can change from season to season as new teams enter the series. There are two types of teams in Formula E, manufacturers and customer teams. The battery, chassis and bodywork are identical for all teams, but manufacturer teams design and produce their own powertrain components, including an electric motor and a few other technical parts. Customer teams can purchase complete cars from one of those manufacturers and enter the series independently. Qualifying takes place to determine the starting order for the race. The fastest drivers get to line up at the front, with the slowest at the back. The drivers are divided up into four groups based on reverse championship standing. Qualifying is made up of five sessions, four sessions for the different qualifying groups, and a final session called Super Pole. In group qualifying, each driver gets just one flying lap to set a time. At the end of group qualifying, the six fastest drivers go out one by one for the Super Pole Shootout, while the other positions are set. Super Pole is a one-shot shootout to decide the starting order of the top six fastest drivers. The fastest driver starts in pole position, winning three championship points. Formula E is unlike any other race series, as all the action takes place on one day usually starting with two free practice sessions. Qualifying follows a couple of hours after practice. Then, it's on to the race. The race lasts for 45 minutes plus one lap. The race winner is the driver that crosses the line first. Second and third also get a place on the podium, with the top 10 finishers all scoring championship points. A podium ceremony for the top three drivers rounds off the day. The Race Village is a dedicated area for fans and their families to experience the world of all-electric street racing. There's live music, street food, and entertainment. 
as well as a host of interactive displays from electric car manufacturers. Fans can set lap times on our race simulators, and the fastest fans are invited back to compete in a virtual race against Formula E drivers, while driver autograph sessions give everyone a chance to grab a selfie with their favorite driver. Check out FIAFormulae.com slash tickets to get all the info on upcoming events near you.